Watch his man coverage. He gets sucked inside. He collides with other players. Now look at the separation for Tyree Kill. 10 yards of separation. We light up in the middle of the field. Our ability activates. Just floffed that in there for an easy walk-in 41-yard touchdown. Thing that you say about me. My dogs like to play mad in a 2K. But one thing they don't do is play about me. My homeboy Tyler, he playing South. What is going on, YouTube? King Reggie, and we are back. Today we are continuing my gun cluster offense out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now today we will be going over two plays, guys. The first play is Z-Spot. The second play is 518 Hook. Now these two plays, guys, are designed to beat man coverage. I designed them both to work in unison to play off of each other and we're going to use these to just destroy man coverage now before we get into that guys i want to give you kind of the idea for the scheme so we're actually going to be in two packages for this scheme guys we're going to be gun cluster and gun cluster hb strong now this is actually going to be the third video i'm putting out in this scheme so far guys if you guys missed them the first video was the intro so in that intro video guys I go over all my ability points, I go over all the adjustments, the audibles we like to use, and the personnel. So that video is super, super important, especially for this video, guys. So definitely after this video, if you haven't seen it, go watch the intro video. I'll throw up a card right now to that intro video, and then I'll leave a link in the description that will be the playlist for all the videos in this whole scheme. So definitely look down in the description after this video and go watch that intro video and the zone beater play I put out for sure. But that intro video, very important for gun cluster. So now, why I really like gun cluster. First thing guys is we actually have two formations we can go to. So cluster HP strong and cluster. The only difference is running backs gonna be on the weak side of the field. Then we move them over to the strong side of the field. That is it. That is gonna give us 24 plays to use instead of just 12. That's gonna double our options to use. The other reason, reason I really love it guys, if you go to your packages, you go over on the right stick, we can go to the four wide receiver package in both formations. That is going to sub out our tight end and put in another wide receiver. That is going to give us a ton of speed and a ton of explosiveness on the field. Now, the other reason, guys, is if you look at the play art, if you look at the formation, this looks obviously very similar to Gun Bunch. Now, we are going to be able to use a lot of the same concepts as Gun Bunch, but there is going to be a lot of unique setups and a lot of unique plays in these two formations that are not in a normal Gun bunch plus now we have four wide receivers on the field instead of that tight end then we're even going to be able to be more explosive than gun bunch so that is kind of why i like this guys now if you guys are new to the channel if it's your first time checking me out basically i try to do really in-depth full scheme full play breakdowns for you guys i'm trying to go way more in depth than other youtubers i'm gonna have real gameplay footage that we are gonna go over together guys i'm gonna break it all down for you show this actually works against real opponents when there's users on the field when there's blitzes coming see this actually is going to work when you go to bring it online we're not just going to hop in practice mode and just go through the motion now if that sounds like something you guys would be into i don't want you guys to miss any of this definitely sub to the channel and leave a like on this video help my name get out there now let's get into these plays guys we are going to be in gun cluster today not gun cluster hb strong we're going to be going over two plays the first play is z spot the second play is 518 hook now i designed these two plays to work in unison guys the first play is going to be z spot the next play once they overplay to z spot we'll be going to 518 hook so i go over at my intro video guys all the ability points i use but basically i designed all those ability points i designed a lot of this offense for these two plays in particular Everybody is just spamming man coverage right now. So many people are running it. So I really want to give you guys a great way to destroy man coverage, make them overplay to one side. Then we can go to the other with these two plays. Now, the two really important abilities that we are using on all our wide receivers, guys, is our two inside receivers on the cluster are both going to have short and elite. Now, what this ability does, guys, is whenever our players cut against man coverage, as long as they are within 1 to 10 yards, any cut they do, they are going to get the route tech ability. So, basically, they are going to get quicker cuts against man coverage, and it's just going to let them separate so, so well. So, those two inside players on the cluster are going to have that short in elite. Then the two outside players, guys, are going to have mid in elite. Now, this is the same ability. It's going to give us great separation against man coverage. But now that is when our players cut between 11 and 20 yards. So, 
Now we're going to be really using the two inside players on our shorter routes and then our outside players on our deeper routes. Now this is going to work in unison guys. This is basically going to give us four route tech players on the field while only using four ability points. So that is how we are able to just destroy man covered guys with these two setups. Now the other big reason I love this guys is in both plays we have these Z posts that we can hit for one play touchdowns. If they start playing under we're abusing them in the flats. We're abusing them underneath they're going to start bringing their safeties down into the box putting them on purples putting them on yellows and then both setups we can both bomb them over the top or one play touchdowns with these z posts now that is the idea with these two plays guys let's get into the breakdown all right guys so here's our play screen this is z spot this is going to be our first play we are going over so the adjustments for this play guys we want to put our middle receiver on the cluster we want to put him on a slant route. Now, like I said, he's going to be having that short in elite ability on him. So when he's running this slant route, guys, he is going to get great separation off the cut. Then we want to put the outside receiver on the cluster onto a deep cross. I go over this in my first vi video as well, guys, the intro to this scheme. I use hot route master for this scheme. So th for this play, guys, we really basically need hot route master. It's going to be really hard to run this setup without it. So we want to put that outside receiver on a deep cross, guys, which we can only get if we are using hot route master. And then the inside receiver on the cluster, guys, we want to put him on a corner route and motion him towards the sideline. Now, this is very important, guys. We must snap the ball before he reaches the numbers. So this is short in a lead on this player. So he has to be inside the numbers when he's making his cut or we our ability will not activate. So we have to snap him before the numbers. If we do that, we are fine and our ability will activate and we will basically have route tech on this route. And if they don't have one step ahead on this player, guys, he will get open every single time. Now, reads, guys, versus man. This is the, both these players are just designed to beat man coverage. We are calling these plays against people who spam man. So we're just going to be going over it versus man coverage. Now, the motioned out corner route will be open every time as long as they don't have one step ahead on that corner. Now, you do have to be a little careful if they put curl flats out there. But honestly, I'll show you guys in 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 the footage. Even when they put curl flats out there, it doesn't matter what they put them at. This guy will still basically get over, open every time. Basically, unless they have one step ahead on this player, they have to user it. And then we have just a bunch more stuff we can do to them. So that is the first read, guys. Now, the second read, if there's only one high safety or zero high safeties, we want to wait for the backside player on that Z, that Z post. Once again, we have our route tech ability he's going to be cutting in between 11 and 20 yards he's going to light up and we are going to get huge separation on this z post then if they have two safeties back or the z post their users going with it whatever he just doesn't really get open then we have this deep crosser once again a great route to destroy man coverage once again he's going to be breaking at that 10, 11 to 20 yard spot and we are going to be activating this route tech ability once again and then our fourth read or it can be a quick read if they're bringing a big heavy blitz guys we have this slant route underneath which once again we have this route tech this um this short in elite ability that is going to light up and just help us get crazy separation okay let's get into the gameplay all right guys so here we go we are at the line of scrimmage got all our adjustments in just putting this guy on a slant now we are going to motion our guy out isaac bruce once again very important guys we have to snap the ball before the before the numbers so right here we snap the ball before the numbers so we are fine watch this player guys He's going to light up right there. We see his star light up and walk, look at the separation we get, guys. Like four to five yards. Basically, every single time, a lot of the times I did possession catch that, a lot of the times you can rack catch that and turn that upfield. Snap the ball before the numbers. Now look at our player. So this is what I was talking about, guys. We have to be careful if they put a curl flat out here. But because we're motioning this player out, the curl flat is not going to go out with them. They're going to be way inside. And even when they put this purple zone out here, guys, look on the cut. He does not react in time. We get huge separation on that player again. So even though he has a purple route out there, it doesn't matter. That is an easy 15-yard gain. Okay, this one is interesting as well, guys. So now when we're playing people that are super heavy blitz, when we motion this player out, look, they do a switch here. 
So this was the player who was in man coverage on Isaac Bruce. He motions over. Now when Isaac Bruce, Bruce goes upfield, when we snap the ball, this player is in man coverage across the field trying to react to him. We have literally 10 yards of separation. So when they're bringing blitzes or they're man, man, when we motion this player out, it is going to mess with the man coverage. Sometimes you're going to get weird switches and this guy is going to be open by 10 to 15 yards, almost make a guy miss. And that's a 30 yard gain up the sideline. Okay, same thing. Motion out guys. Now we're looking here. Could have thrown it, but we decide to hold the ball. Honestly, sometimes guys, I can basically throw this ball every single time against man coverage it honestly gets kind of boring and sometimes i want to hold the ball and get a big play so now we're looking at our z post here guys we see our activation here and look at the separation on our z post five to ten yards of separate or not ten yards five yards of separation lights up and look at them just absolutely wide open down down the field they only have one safety in the middle of the field so basically one safety or zero safeties guys we are waiting for this z post and we are going to be bombing people down the field once again motion out could have thrown x here again but i wanted to hold and wait we look to our z post guys we see him activate here we actually had to bubble around this player and it doesn't even matter we get four to five yards of separation and that is an easy touchdown on that z post no safety in the middle of the field all right guys so we motion out bruce on this play i want to look at the slant underneath we don't throw it here but watch He's going to light up and he's going to get four yards of separation off the line of scrimmage. Basically, guys, we can throw this slant underneath whenever we want as well. Going to get huge separation, but we're looking at this Z post backside. Gets kind of bunched up. So now our eyes are going to be going to the crossing route. We see he's getting huge separation off the line of scrimmage. I like the crossing route if they have two safeties back. He does get, you can see him light up in the middle of the field. He does get to a nice spot there. You have to be careful. Sometimes that deep safety will drive on that play, but most of the time you'll be able to spit that in there into that nice hole. Okay, one more time guys, motion out. Probably could have thrown this, but this purple zone actually does a much better job on this play. So our eyes are gonna go to the backside Z post. Could have thrown that, laid that up there, but then we're looking at the deep crosser, guys. I just feel like he gets a little bit better separation on this play, so we're going to fire that in. No help out there, and that deep crosser is going to get open. Okay, one more time, guys, here. We see the slant underneath, and I just want to show you guys this is definitely an option every time. Just a quick hitter. A lot of the times, they will put those purple zones on the field. They'll set them at 20 yards, and then the slant will just get a really good job of just getting underneath it. We're going to get really good separation off the line of scrimmage, and we're going to play in front of their flat defender. All right, guys, so that was Z-Spot. Now, 5-1-8 hook, going to be similar, a, lot, a very similar concept, but now when the user, we're going to keep hitting that corner out over and over. Now the user is going to start overplaying that. They are going to have to commit. They're going to say, okay, I got to help on that, that corner route. It is getting open every time. So now what we are going to do, guys, we are actually going to put that player on a post route. Snap it before before the numbers and this player is just gonna really cause a lot of trouble so let's go over the adjustments we want to put the backside receiver so in the other setup the backside receiver is on a z post now we want to put him on the deep cross so we're flipping it we want to put him on the deep cross then the outside player in the cluster is going to be on that z post so now they're flipped so now that we're attacking different different areas of the field so backside receiver on a deep cross. Then the only other adjustment, guys, we want to put our inside receiver that we motion out. We want to hit, put him on a post route, snap the ball before he reaches the numbers. The same thing, guys, we got to snap the ball before the numbers. Now, reads versus man, guys, we want to look to the motioned out post route. We want to throw it after the break. Make sure the user is committed to the outside corner. You're going to see, guys, the first clip. The user runs out to the outside corner because I'd hit it. Now he cuts the other way inside and he's just, the user is completely lost. Or we want to make sure we're hitting them deep. We're hitting them crossers, the Z post. Make sure they're committed to that. Throw the post route underneath. Say, and then the other reads are the same, guys. If only one safety high or zero safety, wait for the Z post. It's just going to be from the other side of the field this time. And then if they have safeties, two safeties back, look for the deep cross. The other route that's different, guys, is we are going to have this really quick hook route. 
I like this because if they're bringing a blitz and we really have to get our ball out, the ball out of our hands very fast, this quick hook route, guys, you'll see, we activate, we're going to light up, we can just low ball it, get it out of our hands quick. I really like this to beat the blitz, or let's say it's fourth or third and two. This route is basically just an easy gimme route for four yards on, you know, third and two, third and three, just going to be an easy first down throw. Okay, let's look at the gameplay. Okay, guys, same thing. Motion out. All our adjustments are in. So now we got mo we're motioning out. We got to snap before the numbers. Snap the ball here. Now we're gonna watch the user on this play, guys. So we've been running this route. He's, he's just playing a bunch of man coverage. We're running your corner route. Running the corner route. Watch the user. He's gonna hop way out. Look at him playing. He's playing to that corner route. Now we have the post route. We see it light up. So. Automatic separation against man coverage. The user is in complete no man's land. And that is an 11 yard gain throwing on break in the middle of the field. Just absolutely con just destroying the user. Over committing to that corner route. We're breaking it inside. Same thing guys. Motion out. Make sure we snap before the numbers. Snap the ball. Now on this one the user he's just... This one, he's not over committing to the outside, but he we're hitting him with deep posts. We're hitting him with deep crossers. So now he's helping over the top. We see it light up here, guys, the post route. The user's playing deep. So now we just throw that post route in, in underneath, right in the middle of the field for an easy 10-yard gain. Hey, guys, so same thing. We're going to motion this player out, snap before the numbers. But now we want to look at our Z post on this play, guys. So... The, where our Z post is running now, they are in almost like a stack spot. So what you'll find a lot of the time is when this guy runs his Z post, this man coverage is going to get stuck on players in the middle of the field. And it's just going to let us just get huge separation. So watch this play, guys. Watch Tyree kill. Watch his man coverage. He gets sucked inside. He collides with other players. Now look at the separation for Tyree kill. 10 yards of separation. We light up in the middle of the field. Our ability activates. Just flopped that in there for an easy walk-in 41-yard touchdown. One more time, guys. So now we want to look to this backside crosser. So Z post in the middle of the field. He has one step ahead on this player. He does a decent... Uh, honestly, like we get huge separation. We could have thrown that. It's wide open. <laughs> I honestly probably should have. But then we go to this crossing route. So now both are completely open. This crossing route, he has a purple zone out there. It doesn't even matter. The crossing route is getting behind the purple zone for a really easy 30-yard gain. One more time, guys. Same thing. Going to look to the Z post. Z post on this one kind of gets, you know, just not great separation. But then we look to the corner or the crossing route, guys. Five yards of separation. The user is really re late reacting. It doesn't matter. Fire that in over his head for another huge gain. Okay, on this one, guys, we just want to quickly look at this hook route. So... I just want to, I honestly, I don't throw this a ton, but they're not blitzing on this play. But if they ever do blitz, you need to get the ball out of your hands really quick. Watch Godwin on this play. He's going to get up field, then right on his cut. His ability is going to light up. He's going to get separation. And I really like to just low ball that in there. That's a quick and easy three to four yard gain. You know, if it's really short yardage or you just need a really quick and easy option to beat the blitz. That is going to be a really nice route for you guys. All right, guys, that is it. That is my go-to. These are my go-to plays to beat man coverage. I'm telling you, use these setups with these abilities, guys, and people are really not going to be able to run man on you. We have a running back blocking to give us more time. Honestly, guys, I love these two setups. I love how they're going to play off each other. And they are really just going to give your opponent fits. Now, the next video I'm going to be releasing, guys, is going to be a user blitz out of my nickel 335 scheme. Really, really excited for, to release that video. I absolutely love this blitz. And then we will be getting back to gun cluster. So should expect that in the next two to three days. So, guys, that was Z spot. That was 518 hook. Arizona Cardinals playbook. My name is King Reggie. Thank you guys so much for the support on the channel. Don't forget to sub. Leave a like on this video, and I'm out.